Hey guys, Canon from RI Tech. Just wanted to make a short video on how I set up my Raspberry Pi generator monitoring. Uh, so I had this Generac 24KW generator installed over the winter and it did come with its own app but it's not very good so that's why I'm using the Raspberry Pi. Alright, so in order to get to the actual side of this generator, there's two screws on the top and one on the bottom. On the front of the generator, that whole front panel comes off that exposes the bottom screw and everything just comes right off. So we're going to mount the Raspberry Pi right there in the black. And then there's one connector at the top that just has to be unplugged. Uh, that's the existing monitoring. So we're just going to unplug that and plug the Raspberry Pi into that. All right, so I got the Raspberry Pi hooked up. Just have it on my power bank. It's temporary power for now. Okay, so a slight side note here. The Raspberry Pi does actually get power from that connector that plugs into the front panel display. So I didn't actually need the micro USB power. And then I have the hat connected up to the port on the display. And I have my interface up at the host name and it's port 8000. And this is the other side, that's a disconnect. Here's my three quarter pipe, it's going into the driveway. All right, and we're at the generator. Three quarter pipe, and I have a splice box here. Uh, that's just because I'm gonna put a camera there. And we have my Cat6 coming along. All right, so I did some testing after I had that Raspberry Pi connected. Uh, and it turns out with the side panel and the front panel on for the generator, the Wi-Fi signal gets blocked out too much and it keeps on disconnecting and I'm getting super, super high ping spikes. So I did up, uh, so I did end up hardwiring that. So we just have a basic QE splitter that gives me USB out and an RJ45 connector so I can hardwire that in. Okay, and then we have my PoE injector. Uh, that'll give me my 5 volt USB and my gigabit. Uh, it's just a TP-Link adapter. But that gives me an Ethernet connection instead of Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi doesn't work that great when I put the panel on. But it's just a Pi size me hat connected to Raspberry Pi 3. And that just connects Right up there where the mobile link was connected, I just unplugged that and plugged that cable in. Alright, so we're in the web GUI now, it's just the host name of the Raspberry Pi and the port number is 8000. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything, but it does give you a lot of information in here. You need battery voltage, utility voltage, your output voltage and frequency. And then it's also going to give you estimated power usage as well in kilowatts. Um, you can do a manual start, manual stop, and a transfer as well. And you can view all the logs here as well, too. Okay, and that's where it looks like all closed up. Thanks for watching, guys. I will link the Raspberry Pi hat and the GitHub software in the description of this video as well.